Hi there, this is Pablo with I2R Tech Lighting Solutions. To this point, we have produced several tutorial videos explaining a wide range of features, functional behaviors and setups for various applications using our Moving Head Controller 2.0 together with our I2R BSW200 Moving Heads. But there are some topics that, all thought, might not be worth a whole video on their own. These are to be talked about. I call these tips and tricks. Let me go over a bunch of them in this video. Tip and trick number one. There are many moving heads that allows for a custom gobo to be used. This is great for projecting customized logos or monograms. In general, these gobos can rotate so they could be aligned. But the downside here is that hardly any moving head remembers the angular rotation of a rotating gobo when it is recalled. So, even if the logo or monogram was aligned when creating a chase, later, when the chase is recalled, the logo or monogram might come out misaligned. A trick to avoid this annoyance is to always keep the gobo slowly rotating. Then, it will never be misaligned. Tip and trick number two. Sometimes it is desired to revert the controller back to its default manufacturing state. An easy way to do this is to reflash the firmware on it, even if it is the same firmware version, if a new one is not available. Tip and trick number three. Because a reflashing will erase all customizations, things like libraries, light parameters, controller defaults and shows, it is a good idea to save all of these before reflashing in case something needs to be restored later. Also, it is useful to save and restore libraries, like parameters or shows, for repeating venue setups or repeating productions. Tip and trick number four. When follow spotting, all lights aim to the floor. And because of that reason, no matter how far the spot coordinates goes, the lights will never tilt above the horizon. So expect this as being normal. Also, the lights pan and tilt motion slow down when the spot coordinates get far away. That is because in order to keep the ground speed of the spot at a constant rate, the angular speed of the lights must slow down as the spot gets farther. So, if you feel that the lights get sluggish at any point, check the LCD display and make sure to bring the coordinates back to low numbers. Tip and trick number five. The moving head controller 2.0 allows for customizations on some of the default variables via the controller default management tool. The standby time and transition time are the time in seconds automatically inserted between steps when programming a chase. The X follow spot speed is the maximum ground speed in feet per second for the follow spot, and the pan tilt movement speed is the maximum angular speed in degrees per second for the lights when they are on pan and tilt mode. The default X and Y positions are the X and Y coordinates where the follow spot should aim to when the controller gets powered up. The maximum distance parameters are to bound how far the follow spot can go on all four directions relative to the reference point, usually light one. Tip and trick number six. In follow spot mode, all lights overlap on the floor at the corresponding X and Y coordinates. But if there is a wall blocking the light before they reach the floor, then obviously the light spots will not overlap at said wall. When follow spotting, don't be fooled by a wall in your way. Tip and trick number seven. Having all lights aiming to the same spot on the floor makes it easy to follow spot a person by keeping the overlapping lights at the person's feet. But sometimes when the view is impaired, follow spotting requires keeping track of the shadows cast within each one of the various spotlights seen on the floor and walls around the target. The aim is perfect when 
all the shadows are completely within the spotlights. A skill operator uh, would be able to move the joystick while looking at the moving target and keeping track of the shadows within the spotlights. Tip and trick number eight. The moving head controller 2.0 comes equipped with a DMX input port. This allows for daisy chain two or more DMX controllers. For example, you could have two or more moving head controllers if more than one target must be follow spot at the same time. Or for a venue that already have multiple DMX lights all set up with their own DMX board or a software control DMX box, the moving head controller 2.0 can be patched in line right after the original controller and before the lights. The moving head controller 2.0 disassembles the incoming DMX stream, integrates its own DMX info in it, repackages the DMX frame and sends the modified DMX stream back out. Meaning that we'll only take control of the lights it's supposed to when it's supposed to and pass through everything else without changing the original programs and shows for any of the lights. When the moving head controller 2.0 is not in control of any of its lights, when they are in the off state and there are no chases controlling them, then these lights can be controlled by the controller upstream, by the original programs, as if the moving head controller 2.0 wasn't there. Tip and trick number nine. The accuracy of the follow spotting relies highly on the accuracy of the light's placement and alignment, but also on the accuracy of the light's pan and tilt ranges. We found that the light's pan range is usually true to the datasheet specifications, but not so much so for the tilt range. Even though a light's datasheet may claim a tilt range of say 270 degrees, the actual range could be as low as 240 degrees. When creating the library for the light, it is important to make sure that the actual tilt range for the light is used. The tilt range can be experimentally found as follows. Make sure the light is on, then either via the front panel at the light or using the controller, tilt the light to the minimum and maximum values. Measure the angles relative to the horizontal plane at both extremes. Then, for a total tilt range, add them together plus another 180 degrees. And those were our tips and tricks for this video. Stay tuned!